All right, guys, we're going to take a look at interpreting function notation in context, really just understanding what's going on in the question. All right, the best way to do this is just put yourself in the situation. So Charlie, Miss Ainley, worked at a stone setting company this past summer. Miss Ainley mowed the lawn, okay? He earned 50 bucks for coming to work. So Miss Ainley came to work, and she just got 50 bucks just for coming, okay? An additional 30 bucks an hour every hour I work. So I, I get 50 bucks when I come in. And don't write this down. I get $50 just for coming in. Then I'm going to add 30 bucks per hour every time. All right. Um, the linear function is this. So this is our linear function. Okay. The question is explain what E of 4 represents. So whenever you see function notation, you're going to see something like this equals, you know, some number. All right. What you need to know is that this is your input and that is your output. Okay. So whatever you're putting in goes here. Whatever you get out goes here. So I'm putting in my time, I'm getting out money, correct? So I'm putting in time, I'm getting out money. All right, so this, this X right here, or E of 4, because the function is called E, so not F, but it's called E. It doesn't matter what letter it is. It could be G, it could be X, it could be anything. All right, so the function E, I'm putting in my time, I'm going to get out this output. All right, so what does E of 4 mean? Well, in this scenario, E is 4 hours. So this is... I uh, explain what E of 4 represents. Charlie works four hours, or he spent four hours at work. Okay, so go ahead and write that down. All right, explain what E of T equals 300. So remember we talked about this right here is my input, and this right here is my output. So this is what I put in, and this after the equal sign is what I get out. So what do you think it means when I say E of T and T standing for what? Time. So no matter what time I put in, I'm going to get 300 bucks. So what does that mean? So Charlie, Charlie earned $300 for working a certain number of hours, for working T hours. Okay. So again, the number in the parentheses is my input. The number after the equal sign is my output. So Charlie earned 300 bucks for earning, for working two hours. All right, so example 15, explain what E of zero. So zero stands for my input. I put in nothing, right? So for zero hours, I get $50. What does that mean? Charlie earns $50 for zero hours. So Charlie earns $50 for showing up. up to work. All right. So once again, the way you read that one is I worked for zero hours and got $50. So without working, I'm getting $50. All right. Let's take a look at another example. All right. So Zoe signed up for a streaming music service. There's a fixed cost for monthly membership and the cost per song downloaded. Her total cost is given by this line below. Boom. Evaluate and explain what f of 1 represents. So again, remember, 1 is my input. What am I putting in into my problem, right? So first, let's evaluate it. All right, so remember, this is going to be your x value. Your output is going to be your y value. So my x value, 1, is $11. So this is going to be $11.49. So I evaluated f of 1 when when X is 1, when my input is 1, I get out $11.49. All right, now I just need to read what it talks about. So this is the number of songs. This is the total cost per month. And who's this? Zoe. So explain what that represents. Zoe signed up for a streaming service where there's a fixed cost month mentioned and the cost per song. All right, so Zoe paid or Zoe uh, downloaded. That's what it is, cost per song downloaded. Zoe downloaded, downloaded one song. All right. She downloaded one song. It cost 1149, but they're not asking me about this. It equals 1149. They're just asking me what does F of one represent? So we downloaded one song. All right. Evaluate and explain what F of X is equal to 1449. So remember again, this is my input after the equal sign after here, this is my output, right? So my input is my X. Let's go ahead and write that down. My output is my Y. So I'm just going to go to my Y and see at 1449, which is right here. Go to the graph. I drew that quickly. All right, 
draw it to the graph, and then draw it right down. So this time, my input was going to be 3. So evaluate, so this is going to be f of 3 is equal to 1449. So I, Zoe downloads three songs and pays 1449 for the three songs. All right, so let's go ahead and write that down. Zoe downloads, downloads three songs and pays 1449. All right, so Zoe downloads three songs and pays 1449 for the songs. All right, example 24. Yeah, evaluate. It says evaluate and explain E of 5 is equal to 1749, but they've already evaluated it for you, so it just must mean explain, so we're just going to cross that out. Explain what E5 uh, equals 1749. So remember my input, my X value is 5, so what's 5? The number of songs. And then 1749, that's my Y value. My output is going to be the total of cost. And as long as you use these words, you're fine. So Zoe downloads... How many songs? Five songs, right? And the total cost per month and pays, and pays, uh, what was it? $17.49 per month. You know, or anything along those lines. But use the words that they give you in the X, in the Y, and in the problem right here. Okay, so what I want you to do is go ahead and practice these last two examples. Let's practice.